everyone, welcome to Intelligent Kids. My name is Arush and today I have a very important message for you guys. You might have been hearing a lot about the coronavirus, so today we will be exploring this illness, the symptoms, how does it spread, and the safety measures to take to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. So let's get started with this video now. Let's get started. First, I will be telling you what is the coronavirus. Coronavirus, also known as novel coronavirus, is a new type of virus coming from a big family, consisting of various types of coronaviruses. They look like a little ball covered in a spiky crown. So, it is called coronavirus. Corona means crown in Latin. These viruses are way too small to be seen by your eyes or magnifying glass. So now I will be telling you what disease is caused by the coronavirus and what are the symptoms. The disease caused by coronavirus is called COVID-19. The symptoms for it are dry cough, fever, difficulty in breathing and in severe cases pneumonia. Now I will be telling you where the coronavirus originated from. Coronavirus was found in Wuhan, China at the end of 2019. It was passed from animals to humans, but the theory is not confirmed yet. So, now I will be telling you how does the coronavirus spread. So, it spreads from animal to animal and from human to human. Also, sometimes it can be spread from animal to human. So, for example, just say there is an infected person. And then when he's coughing, the virus particles float and then they find the surface to linger on. After, when somebody touches the surface, the virus transfers into their hand. And then if they touch their eyes, mouth or nose, the virus can come inside of their body and start infecting them. There are some safety measures that you can take to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The first one is washing your hands with warm soapy water for at least 20 seconds. If you do this, the germs on your hand will go away. And also, if you are outside and there is no warm or soap water available, you can use hand sanitizers to disinfect your hands. And the second safety measure is you should not touch your eyes, nose or mouth. Because if you do this, the virus can get inside and start infecting you. So, another safety measure is you should maintain social distancing. You should not be squished up together. You should maintain a one and a half meter distance between you or the person over there that you're talking with. Another safety measure, you, how you can be safe from the coronavirus is you should stay at home as much as possible. If you're getting bored indoors, you can play some indoor games su such as board games or you can even do art and craft. If you're getting bored and if you want to do some music, you can practice some music that your teacher might have gave to you or you can play your guitar or any instrument you like. And if you're missing your friends or your family, you can video call them. Another safety measure how you can prevent the spread of the coronavirus is avoid crowded places or large gatherings because you don't know who's infected or not and if they touch you then you will get infected. So that's why. Another safety measure is you should sanitize or disinfect objects that are highly touched at your home such as doorknobs, light switches or your TV remote. And if you're coming from outside, you should also disinfect your phone because the coronavirus lasts on glass for 72 hours. And if you're getting sick or if you get the symptoms of the coronavirus, you should stay at home and also you should stay away from the person that's sick. Thanks for watching my video guys. Please subscribe to my channel and also please press the bell icon. Also give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching my video guys. Bye bye.